Hey you guys, thanks so much for tuning in to my video today. As you probably know, if you've seen any of my other videos, I'm Sarah Hornsby, your online myofunctional therapist. So um, I wanted to go a little bit more in depth about tongue ties today. Um, I've been doing a lot of videos on these lately and they're really um, popular. A lot of people are looking for more information on tongue ties. So I wanted to make the connection for a few of you that the tongue tie issue and lip ties and, and um, having this midline issue is connected to the MTHFR gene mutation. So if you've had your, um, your DNA tested and you know that you have this mutation, you're more likely to also be tongue tied. So this genetic mutation can affect our health in tons of ways. It's not just a tongue tie and just because you have this mutation doesn't mean it's expressed. But I think it's important to know um, if you do know that you have this, you and your kids are likely to be tongue tied. Um, there's so much on this topic that I don't proclaim to be an expert on that gene mutation by any means, but I think it's really good to know. I've had a couple patients who have kind of one of those light bulb aha moments when they discover that, oh, we have this gene in our family and we've had a lot of autoimmune disorders because of it. We know this is an issue. And now that makes sense why both of our kids have bad tongue ties. So um, I just want to make the connection for those of you out there who haven't heard of this before, um, there is a genetic connection to being tongue-tied. Um, but like I said, not everyone who's tongue-tied has the expression of this gene or of this mutation. So keep that in mind. Um, there's, there's more and more research coming out about this and there's more and more stuff online. So I'll link a couple of really good websites on the MTHFR genetic mutation um, that I've looked at and that I know about and um, hopefully that will help some of you guys out there. But um, yep, if you're tongue-tied, there is a genetic component to it. So it runs in families. If one of your kids is tongue-tied, they probably got it from dad or mom. So I always urge patients, if you're looking at a tongue-tied baby, a tongue-tied kid, um, you need to check your own, as parents, you need to check your own tongue ties as well. So um, anyways, just a little information for you guys out there. Um, Stay tuned, I'll have some more tongue tie information on the way and um, subscribe to this channel, um, like everything and uh, I will see you guys next time.